Okay, so last four bars of Johnny Be Good in A on B, we have this rhythm. One, two, and three, and. So it's gonna be on one, we're gonna have those two that. We just spent all that time doing that, now we're actually gonna get them both at once. That's count one. One, two, and three, and. One, two, and three, and. Then after that, we're gonna do the same run, but start on the seventh fret. And that's four and one and two and three. Four and one and two and three. Four and one and two and three. The last uh, third measure is one and two and three and four and, and that's the other variation of the Chuck Berry lick where instead of sliding up to the E, we bend up to the E and feel free to use a couple fingers here to help push that string up. That run, uh, the 11th bar is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and on beat one, once again, instead of just playing the A there, he rakes an A chord, that's six, five, five right here. So instead of one and two and, it's one and two and, just a little. But once again, it's just, it's just one sound. One and two and. So instead of one and two and, it's. It's like that sweet picking that all the kids are into. Chuck Berry was doing it in 1955. There it is right there. One and two and three and four and. And the last one, last, last bar is real easy. One and two, one and two. It's the turn with that note actually having a value. One and two. And that's what he's playing on the recording. Typically the blues lick that, that goes along with this, and I wrote it as a little addendum down there at the bottom. That's like kind of my editorialized version. It's one and two and three walking down this A triad. One and two and three and just like an A chord right here. Just like your E chord of your A is an A chord right there up at the sixth fret. One and two and three and. So, uh... I would probably play that if I was going to play the song rhythm. But that's what's on the record. So either one of those is cool. So have some fun with that. And there's all sorts of great uh, rock licks and stuff that, man, they're still using today. It's really crazy how that defined what rock guitar soloing is. And, and, and all the bands are still doing that. It's, uh, it's uh, pretty interesting. Cool. Have some fun.